Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Pro Nails Aluma Hide 2. Uh, this is OD green, but uh, you get that in different other colors as well. So back quite a long time ago I did test out the original version of that special epoxy finish and this is now the second version, the second generation of that paint so I did think it's time to test that out again see how much it did improve. Uh, the results back then were pretty good and uh, I have a really good feeling that the results of this test gonna be even better. I'm gonna post in the description then an uh, update. So uh, the version that we have here is basically for plastic and metals as well. Uh, you can bake it a little bit, but they have a special version of that paint that you can ba uh, bake in an oven to higher temperature so that you get even more of a tougher finish. Uh, because I have to spray paint uh, many different materials, I cannot do that. So that is the regular version that they offer. Uh, the can is relatively expensive for what it is. It's just a regular size can. Uh, it has some information on it. Uh, the spray is uh, highly flammable as usual. And uh, there is also how to use it. Uh, what is important is that you uh, shake the can really well and apply just uh, thinner layers of paint on the material. Uh, within 10 minutes you can give it a second uh, or a third layer if you want but after that it needs to be dry first between 10 and 14 days uh, that it is uh, fully cured. Uh, the I usually paint my stuff in summer so it's relatively hot here in uh, North Georgia and then I let it sit outside at the sun so to uh, dry, so the, the dry time is not that long, uh, but that it gets fully cured, I would uh, not use the item for sure like 10 days. Also important uh, is that you uh, shake the, the can relative well, relative long, because of the epoxy in it that needs to be uh, shaked and mixed relative well. Also, as usual, as you paint, the surface preparing is really important uh, that you clean the items off, uh, degrease it, uh, you uh, tape off parts that you don't want to have painted and all that. So, yeah, uh, for the sample, as we see here, we see a typical uh, scratched uh, sample of uh, aluminium receiver. Uh, that was painted with the usual Rustoleum camouflage uh, paint. On uh, certain materials that paint works really well. Uh, it depends on how, how uh, smooth the, the surface is and what exactly it is. Now as we see on this uh, receiver by using it uh, the paint uh, doesn't last on it. I did uh, also try it out with uh, a base coat uh, primer but uh, that did not help either. So uh, the paint is not good for, for that smooth aluminium. I did already paint uh, the same style of receiver with the Alumina Height 2 and uh, that feels already way better but of course we need to wait those uh, yeah by now uh, still 8 days until the item is completely cured to fully be able to test it. Now to the color, uh, as we see here on the cap, the green, the top middle green there is the original uh, green that is on the cap, but you see the matte uh, olive green color is different than the uh, top, the plastic there as usual. It uh, sprays really easy and nice no problem with the with the spray nozzle at all uh, this on a four end uh, here we have a bottle of a turkish semi-automatic shotgun 
So the finish is getting really uniform and even, uh, really nice. Here we have a magazine that I did carry in the pocket and that got a bit rust on it. So we cannot even uh, tell on which side the rust was. Of course the rust needs to be removed. Uh, here you paint it, the surface, surface uh, preparation is pretty much the same as with any other uh, things or materials that you wanna wanna paint. So all in all, for sure, a nice product. Uh, the price is unfortunately relative high too, and uh, the shipping comes on top of it. Uh, they offer quite so many uh, colors. Uh, black is currently uh, sold out, unfortunately. But uh, they also, next to OD Green, they have a darker uh, grey, like a parkerized finish, a uh, coyote, uh, a medium tactical brown, and others as well. So all in all, for sure a great product, and I'm uh, looking forward to paint some more items with it.